I wanted to show you what I was doing today. I have been making cage feeders, inline cage feeders today. See that? Getting ready for my winter carp campaign. And I've always wanted to, to use cage feeders. Can't get them in the store around here and I don't feel like paying near double to get them online. They seem very, very simple to me, fairly simple to make. So this is what I've come up with. I've found myself some mesh and I've cut about two inches long to an inch and a half wide. And I'm bending them over. I want some small ones. So what I do is you see one end I've left the, uh, the wire sticking out right there. Can you see that? There's a good angle. See how I've done that? And the other end, they're not sticking out. So I bend it over, go about one square in. You see that? And I take my needle nose and I bend these wires down and close them over this that square I just overlapped and I do that to every one <clears throat> and then I uh, for my uh, my guide see the little plastic piece right there it's actually one of these this is a float with the rod pull the rod out and I cut it about an inch and a half like I said you can use a hacksaw to cut them, or like me, use your uh, Japanese pool saw. Really easy. It's like a hot knife through butter. It's only plastic. I use the, uh, the fine teeth. As you see on my pool saw, I have two kinds of teeth, fine and rough. And then the wire is uh, one, one and a fourth pound gauge florist wire. You can get it at Michael's or a craft store or online. And then I, of course I wired that on about two places at each end. There you go. Maybe you can come up with something better. I haven't tried them yet. Next video is going to be a trial. We'll see how they work. All right, there you go.